What is up everybody? This is the Ward Face and today I am bringing you a World at War gameplay which you can probably see when you clicked on the video and the title probably gave it away but I don't know I'm really excited for this. I haven't played World at War in forever. This is probably one of my first games that I played and I went like 39 and 8 and I was really pumped about it. Um, I don't know I just love World at War. Uh, I'm hoping to actually be able to talk through this whole video because every time I seem to want to make a video, something just decides to interrupt me. Like when I made my first video, which was also my last video, there was a helicopter that just kept flying back and forth around my house for maybe, I don't know, like four hours. And I couldn't make the video that day because of it. And then just things kept coming up and it took me like three extra days to make one video just to make my first commentary. And then I'm about to sit down and make this video. And I just hear this car driving around my neighborhood blaring music. And I see, like, my mic, like, the little thing that tells, like, when you're picking up sound on your mic, it's just going crazy. And I'm like, oh, I'm not going to be able to make another video. But the car seems to have gone away, so hopefully I'm able to get this in. If you start hearing, like, crazy bass coming over it, that's probably just the car going by. Um, but I don't know. If you've tried to play, I'm going to try to switch subjects from people interrupting me, but, uh, if you've tried to play World at War or any, like, Call of Duty 4, uh, whoa, Call of Duty 4, if you tried to play any of those games lately, you probably realize that there's been a ton of hackers in them. Uh, it was really disappointing. Like, a few months ago, I was like, oh, I'm gonna play the old Call of Duties again, and I would get, like, a couple good games, and it'd be awesome, and then just waves and waves of hackers would come in. It's like people flying around the map, they're like starting like 200 feet above the map. It's pretty horrible. Uh, obviously the worst, I didn't really see it in Call of Duty 4, but in World at War they'd be invincible people. And I think I'd be able to put up all with all of that, except there would be people, like four people in every single game that would just have these blue or like yellow ads just going across the entire screen. I don't know how they did it, but... It was awful. Every single one would be like, oh, come check out my YouTube channel. It's so badass. We hack stuff. And, I don't know, it just kind of ruined the game. And it was actually so bad that, I don't know, I just couldn't play anymore. It was just getting me so mad that I would get, like, three kills in a row. And then some flying invincible guy would come up and, like, knife me and fly through a wall. And then, I don't know, just something about it. And, like, there would be, like, dogs being called in as soon as the game starts. So, I just stopped playing altogether, even though Call of Duty 4 and World at War were probably my favorite games. I just couldn't play them with all the hackers. And then I went on maybe a week ago to both of them, and surprisingly they both had updates. Um, I don't know if that was a recent thing or when those updates came out, but it seemed to keep the hackers at bay. Uh, like, World at War you still get a hacker here and there. Like, you'll get, like, an invincible guy or whatever, but Call of Duty 4, I haven't seen any hackers since I've downloaded the update, which is pretty awesome, I think, because you never really see updates for, like, four- and five-year-old games when there's been, like, 17 sequels since then. Uh, but, I don't know, before I talk over the whole thing about hackers and loud people outside my house, I want to actually get to my point about how awesome World of War and, like, Call of Duty 4 and the old Call of Duties are in general. Um, just something about the old games just are awesome. I don't know, because the new ones seem to be way too complicated. Not like, it's not like I look at my controller and go, oh man, I don't know how to play this. But just like so many options, there's like 50 different camos for every gun and customizable kill streaks, which, I don't know, I find pretty cool, but they're really overpowered. Like, I don't know why an attack helicopter in every single Call of Duty is like the most overpowered thing in the world. I don't know if anybody else has the same problem, but no matter what Call of Duty I play, as soon as an attack helicopter comes in, I die maybe like 50 times in a row, which is really annoying. But I don't know, just something about the old fashioned 3, 5, and 7 kill streaks is just awesome. It also seems like that in an effort to try to make the newer Call of Duties more fair, they've just made them worse. Like, I don't know, like World War, no, not World War 3, uh, Modern Warfare 3. They have like four different kinds of like kill streaks. Well, not four. There's a three. There's like the assault, the the one that you don't really have to be good to get, and the perk one. And they're supposed to like cancel each other out, but I don't know. It just makes it 
more and more ridiculous, I feel like. The people that are really good with one just, like, overuse it, and it just gets ridiculous. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm just saying that because I kind of suck at World... I keep saying World War Three. I keep I suck at Modern Warfare 3 or what, but... I don't know. I, it just seems like, in a way, by having simpler things just like Juggernaut and Stopping Power, it just made it a lot more fair. Like, I would take Juggernaut every single day of the week over, like... What is it? Painkiller and all that stuff? That is absolutely horrible for me. What was it? Modern Warfare 2 head painkiller? Um, it was just... I don't know. I just don't really like the... Like, awarding people that aren't doing good and all that stuff. I don't know. I just felt that World at War and Call of Duty 4 got it right. And then after that, they've just made them too complicated. And they should just stick to what was doing good. And, um... I mean, I'm sure there's people that are gonna say that I suck for believing that. But, I don't know. I just really liked the way World of War was set up. Um, this game is almost over. I believe I go 39 and 8 in the end. And before I go, I just want to, I said this in my first commentary, but I want to make sure that everybody watching this, please just leave a comment. I, I would, I mean, I obviously I'd appreciate if I got like a subscriber and a like and stuff from it, but the most important thing to me right now is comments about what's good and bad about the video and a suggestion for what games you want me to play. Uh, I, I'll explain this in my first commentary. I'll link it in the description, but that is all I have to say for this video. I will see you next time.